Now, some say there are safe places teens can hang out. They're just not going to them. Jake Peterson is live on the plaza with how this is impacting them. Jake. Well, Mark, Mayor James says parents just drop off their 11, 12, 13-year-olds right here at the plaza and just let them roam. Youth group leaders say there are places for those kids to go, but because they cost money and the economy is so tight, parents are opting for free places like the plaza instead. It's not until the sun goes down. You see, you see lots of large groups of kids. When the problems begin, David Hyden lives on the plaza and worked there as a server for several years. There were times where you had to, you had to be careful. There were definitely times where you saw things happening where you know kids were being chased. He also sees parents drop their teens off. So the parents are thinking this is a great neighborhood. It's a safe place. It's a great part of Kansas City. Beautiful place for their kids to be. Much safer than a lot of other parts of town. The violence has not made him consider relocating, but he says the lack of parental control is getting out of hand. Yeah, I think the answer is just letting parents know there's a problem and they'll and they'll be parents just like every other every other time in history. There are parents that don't care if their kids are in danger. Myriad House manager Denise Clark has a different answer. Her group runs a nonprofit hangout for teens of all ages. We've just dealt with everything from drug addiction to crime. The Myriad House was started with help from city leaders when Westport was going through a similar problem back in 2002. I just brought the kids in and said, what would you like to do rather than what you've been doing hanging on the streets? But times have changed and funding is almost That's gone. Clark says exactly the city needs to support more youth centers like this one to keep kids off the streets. Well, look what the kids have to look for in their future these days with the world and the state it's in. It's horrendous. They're terrified. It's that terror, she says, that spreads when teens don't have useful outlets. And Clark says funding for teen centers has been drastically cut since 2002, so now they have to charge seven bucks a night. She's hoping this plaza incident will make city and state leaders re-examine the need for teen centers. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.